I'm about to show you a photo that changed how dermatologists talk about sun protection forever. This particular truck driver spent 28 years with UV rays hitting just one side of his face through his window. Now, if you have a look at this, one side aged decades faster with deeper wrinkles, sunspots, and even skin sagginess. And the other side is remarkably younger. So what you're actually seeing is something called unilateral dermatode heliosis. And it's happening to millions of people right now including you. I'll show you exactly how to protect yourself and your skin so this never happens to you. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Inky, your digital skin doctor. And by the end of this video, you understand something that people get completely wrong about sun protection. So here is what you learn. What's really hitting your skin every day and a hint, it's invisible and goes through windows. The 10 second application trick that multiplies your protection. Why your expensive sunscreen might be giving you false confidence. And the biggest miss, they are literally aging you faster. Plus, I'll show you UV camera footage that reveals hidden damage that you can't see and it might shock you forever. So first, let's talk about what's actually attacking your skin right now. Even if you're sitting indoors, sunlight contains three types of ultraviolet radiation and understanding this will change everything you know on how to protect yourself. The first ones are known as UVC. Now, UVC rays are blocked completely by our ozone layer and we never see them on Earth. Next one is UVB. Now, UVB rays cause that painful sunburn that you remember every time you spend a lot of time on the beach. But here's the terrifying part. The UVA makes up roughly about 95% of all UV radiation reaching Earth and they are the silent assassins. While UVB hits your skin surface and gives you immediate feedback through sunburns, UVA penetrates deep into your dermis where your collagen lives. It's breaking down the structural foundation of your skin every single minute of every single day and you feel nothing at all. No burn, no immediate signs, just cumulative damage over the years that shows up later as wrinkles, age spots, and skin sagginess. This UV camera reveals sun damage that's completely invisible to your eyes. Every dark spot that you see here represents areas where UV damage has already occurred. And the scary part, this person thought they had perfectly clear skin. So here's what happens every time UV rays hit your skin. They create something known as free radicals. Now these are unstable molecules that can damage your DNA and break down your skin's collagen. Your skin tries to protect itself by producing something called melanin. And this is what gives you a tan. But here's the truth that no one actually wants to hear. A tan is literally your skin's emergency response to DNA damage. This damage is cumulative and largely irreversible. Every unprotected minute, it's making a deposit into a damaged account that your skin pays on later in life. And it even happens on cloudy days. So what you're seeing here isn't just aging, it's photo-aging, responsible for up to 80% of visible facial aging. Now these wrinkles and spots and sagging skin, uh, those are decades of UV damage, not just the fact that you're getting older. So how do we actually fight this invisible enemy? The answer is understanding how protection actually works on your skin. Because most people are using sunscreen, but they're using it completely wrong. So there are two types of sunscreen. Physical sunscreen that contains zinc oxide and titanium dioxide. Now they sit on your skin like tiny little mirrors reflecting UV rays away. Now physical sunscreen works almost immediately and are per perfect for sensitive skin and for kids as well. Chemical sunscreen on the other hand absorbs 100% of the UV rays and converts them to heat. Now chemical sunscreen typically feels lighter and easier to blend in, making them great for daily use especially when you have makeup. But majority of the time, chemical sunscreen needs anywhere between 10 to 20 minutes before it becomes fully effective. Now, SPF. Now, this is the dangerous part whereby everyone gets it wrong. SPF 30 blocks 97% of UVB rays, while SPF 50 blocks 98%. Now, seems small, right? But here's the critical part. These ratings assume that you're applying 2 milligrams per square centimeter. And if it's for your face, it's roughly about a quarter of a teaspoon. So here's the honest truth. Most people actually apply less than half this amount, reducing their SPF 50 to sometimes as low as just SPF 5. And reapplication every two hours isn't just a suggestion. It's now becoming mandatory. Sunscreen breaks down from UV exposure and wears off from sweat and friction throughout the entire day. So here's your 30 second sunscreen selection guide. For everyday use on normal to oily skin, lightweight chemical formulas feel un invisible under the makeup. Now, if you have sensitive skin, rosacea, or you're applying for kids, stick with mineral-based sunscreen. They are typically zinc oxide or titanium dioxide, and they are way more gentle on your skin. And as for sports and beach days, choose 
water resistant formulas rated for 40 up to 80 minutes. For people with darker skin tones, look for transparent chemical formulas or tinted minerals to avoid those nasty white casts. So here's your checklist for sunscreen. Broad spectrum protection, SPF 30 minimum, water resistant if you're sweating, and most importantly, you need to find a texture that you can use it on a daily basis that you like. The best sunscreen is the one that you are applying consistently. So here's the part whereby we'll be destroying certain myths about sunscreen. They're literally aging people prematurely. Myth number one, I only need sunscreen when I'm at the beach. You get significant UV damage by walking to your car, sitting by the window, or even driving any sort of daylight exposure. This accidental exposure accounts for most lifetime UV damage. Myth number two, I'm safe in my car or indoors. UVA penetrates glass easily. If you can see sunlight, you're likely getting UVA exposure. That is why truck drivers show asymmetrical aging. Myth number three, spray sunscreens are just as effective as cream or lotion-based. Now, it can be, but it's much more easier to mess up spray sunscreens. You need to spray until your skin glistens and then Rub it in. Never spray directly on your face because inhaling these chemicals actually isn't safe for you. And finally, my makeup has SPF, so I'm protected. Now, unless you're applying a quarter teaspoon of foundation on your face, which it sounds and looks ridiculous, it means that you're actually not getting meaningful protection from your makeup. So here's your complete protection strategy. Apply broad spectrum SPF 30 or higher as the last step of your morning routine. Use enough to form a visible layer before rubbing the sunscreen in and never be stingy with sunscreen. And as for reapplication over makeup, opt for things like powder sunscreen or even setting sprays that comes with SPF. Keep travel sizes everywhere, you know, keep it in your car, your purse, your office. You might even want to set phone reminders. Whatever it takes to make reapplication necessary and automatic. You also need to layer your protection. Seek shade from roughly about 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. If it's possible, wear those white brim hats. Choose sunglasses with 100% UV protection and consider something known as a UPF rated clothing for extended outdoor time. And never forget to moisturize. A healthy skin barrier helps minimize irritation and supports your skin's repair, especially if you're using active ingredients at night. So here's the bottom line. Sun protection isn't vanity, it's actually health. Every day you protect your skin, you're preventing DNA damage. You're helping reduce the risk of skin cancer and it keeps your skin functioning optimally for decades to come. You know the people that look amazing in their 50s and 60s and beyond? Now that is not genetically lucky. They made sun protection as a daily habit and it's never too late to start. So here's what I want you to do right now. I want you to hit the subscribe button if this has opened your eyes about sun protection. And I want you to comment below, what's your biggest sunscreen challenge at the moment? Is it because you can't find one that doesn't feel greasy? Or are you forgetting to reapply your sunscreen? Let me know in the comments below and I'll address it. And I would love it if you could share this with someone that you care about because sun damage is preventable, but only if people understand what they're protecting against. Remember, your future self will thank you. And that's it for me. I'm Dr. Inky. And always remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and most importantly, stay informed.